In this method, we're going to show a simple example of an activity and a layout and a method. In a previous video, we talked about the concepts of object-oriented programming. We said that a class is a noun. It defines the attributes, but it doesn't give them values. An object comes from a class and gives values to attributes. So a class will say something like model year. An object will say model year 1997. Then we said we have attributes which describe an object, uh, which are like adjectives. We also said we have methods, which are like verbs. Now, this is a lot of syntax, but a method has a signature, which is made up of an access modifier, which says who can call that method, a return type, which describes the data that the method will return when it's finished running, a unique name, and then parameters that are passed into the method. And then within the open and close curly, we have a set of tasks that a method will do. We also left a previous lecture with a very simple, uh, just a, a boilerplate Android app. This one just says, hello world. What we're gonna do in this example, and this should be fairly short, is we're gonna add a button to this hello world uh, layout that we see right here. So I'm gonna put my mouse cursor uh, in this pane and control M, control M. Control M will expand so that I can focus on this layout. Okay. And what we see here is hello world as a layout. And then I'm gonna take, I'm going to click over on forum widgets, drag this okay button and drop it immediately underneath the hello world. And by the way, how did I get here? I didn't explain that well. The uh, layout, this is the project that I've started. To get to the layout, I expand on res and then layout. And you see there's only one option here because the simple project only has one layout. So I've added a button now. I'm gonna edit the ID. It's always a good idea to edit the ID because you see the default ID that we get is button one. That really doesn't tell us much of anything. It's not a descriptive identifier. The ID is the identifier for this button. We could have multiple buttons on this form. We need unique IDs to tell them apart. So I'm gonna change that from button one, we'll change it to say search, and then I'll choose okay. We also need to change the text on this button. So instead of button, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna choose edit text and I'm going to say new string. And I have to give the string a name. I'm gonna say LBL search. And we have to give it a value. I'm gonna say search. That's a few steps. You might've noticed I've done a few clicks there to get to this screen. The reason is when we have text, we want to put it in a configuration file, an XML file. We never wanna hard code text in Android because we want to support multiple languages. To support multiple languages, we have to be able to take all of the text, all of the prompts that we have in an application and be able to replace them. The easiest way to do that is to take all of this text, all of these prompts, and put them into a separate file that can be easily replaced. In this case, that file is called strings.xml and it's located under res values. So that's what we're doing here. We're not only giving this button a label called search, but we're also making it very easy to switch that word search to a different language by taking the word search and actually putting it in a separate XML file. So now we have a, meth a button called search. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna right click and I am going to say other properties and I'm gonna say all by name, and this will take a bit of searching because there are quite a few properties, but I'm looking for one called on click. Now remember on the slide I just showed you, I said there are four parts to a method, an access modifier, a return type, a method name, and parameters. When I choose on click, if you see here I'm clicking on on click, I'm telling it what method name I want to be called when I click this button. And for this, we're gonna call the method name, we could call it anything. I'm gonna call it search. 
or we could say search clicked. Let's say search clicked. How about that? Uh, we don't want any spaces. We don't want any special characters. So we have to do one word camel case. Remember that camel case means the first word is lowercase. Any words after that, the first letter is uppercase and everything else is lowercase. So we have to do search click. Now remember this, as a matter of fact, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and highlight and then choose control C to copy. So we have a button. We've changed that button's ID. We've changed the button's name. And now we've associated an on click with it called search clicked. And if we take a look, we know that search clicked is going to correspond to this unique method name. Okay. Now again, this is a very simple introductory Android project. We have our layout. If you remember what a layout is, we were talking about layouts before as well. So we have our layout. We also have an activity that is associated with that layout. So we have the layout, we have an activity associated with that layout. We only have one of each because this is just a very initial Android project. So it's going to be easy to find the layout that's associated with that activity. And sure enough, here we go, search plants activity. Okay, I click on this and we're going to go to a code view. Now, once again, I'm going to hold down control and press M, which will maximize that window on my screen in Eclipse. Now, remember when we made that button, we gave it, we associated it with a method called search clicked. So if I go down here to remember what a method is again. One moment. Okay. Access modifier tells us who's allowed to call it. We'll keep it public. Return type method name. That search clicked and then any incoming parameters. It just so happens if we name a method search clicked and if we give it the access modifier public return type void and uh, method view v like so open curly close curly it just so happens if we do it exactly like this when the button is clicked it's going to look for the method with this name and it's going to call that method. So once again, when the button is clicked, because we gave it the on click called search clicked, it's going to invoke this method. Now you see we have a red line here, that means something's wrong. Uh, when we get a red line, our job is to fix that as quickly as we can. In this case, it doesn't know what we mean by the word view. There's an easy way to fix this. In Eclipse, we simply hold Control shift o and what that will do is that will go find the word called view, and there we go. Now we don't have any red lines. So once again, public void search clicked view v. As long as we name a method with this syntax, and right here, search clicked, we put whatever value we associated with the on click of that button. As long as we do that, this method will get called when that button is pushed. Now let's confirm that the method does get called. I'm going to put a pop-up box when the method is called. I'll warn you right now, the syntax is a little bit goofy. Don't worry about what every word is doing. I'll just tell you this is going to show us a pop-up box. I'm going to say toast.makeText, open paren, this, comma, the text is going to be search clicked, the duration is going to be toast, dot length long and then at the end we're going to say dot show again don't worry about that syntax yet we'll have time to explain it but that time is not right now uh, just know that this line will pop up a box when the button is clicked we just want a confirmation that our plumbing is correct so again public void search clicked view v remember that search clicked okay and we'll save. Let's go back to our activity and just confirm everything is what we think it is. I right click. I'm going to choose other properties. And uh, let's see, we were looking at uh, on click, I think it is. Search clicked. Remember, that's what's magic. This name here, when we click the button, it's going to look for a method with that name. Search clicked. Again, right click, uh, other properties recent, on click. Whatever's in this onClick property, in this case search clicked, that's the name 
of the method that the Android operating system is going to look for when we click this button. It's called search clicked. We go back over here, search clicked. Everything else don't worry about public void view v. It just has to look like that. The word public, the word void, view v. One other thing. When we define a method, it's kind of it kind of looked arbitrary where I put it. We have to make sure it's within the boundary of the class itself. Class itself is this very open curly. And if you see, there's a little box around this closed curly. That's the boundary of the class itself. When we define a method, it has to be within that boundary. But also, it cannot be within another method. It can be next to another method. It can't be within another method. So you see, we have defined a method here. Remember, a method is a verb. It's something that gets done. That method is defined within the boundary of the class but not within the boundary of another method, so be careful of that. Also, everything, has to ha everything that opens has to have a corresponding close. Open curly, close curly, I'm sorry, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. So, open parenthesis, hold shift and press 9 to get an open parenthesis. Close parenthesis, hold shift and press 0 to get a close parenthesis. Open curly, this is uh, hold shift, and hit the key to the right of your P. Close curly, hold shift, and hit the key that's uh, just uh, above and to the left of the inner key. Okay, so notice that everything here, everything that opens has a close. Open paren, close paren. Open paren, close paren. Open paren, I'm sorry, open curly, close curly. Open paren, close paren. Also notice that this line terminates with a semicolon, but again, there's a lot of syntax in this line. We're not worried about it just yet. We just know that this is going to show a pop-up. So let's test it out. I've left my emulator running, which is a good idea because it's going to take less time now if the emulator is already running. So I'm going to right-click. I'm going to choose Debug As, an Android application. And if we have any luck in just a moment, what we should see is this will refresh, but in addition to having the Hello World label, it's also going to have a button. And when we click that button, we'll get a message to pop up. So let's give it a moment to compile and run, and let's see what happens. The app is now up, and I'm going to click Search, and you'll notice down at the bottom, Search Click pops up. Now, one thing we'll find in Android is that a pop-up box will usually dismiss itself, and that's called a toast. And the reason is, for usability, we want to minimize the number of clicks that the user has. So the user doesn't have to actively dismiss most pop-ups. Usually, it will show, and then it will go back away. So again, when I click on Search, we'll see that Search Clicked appears. So we have a button, which is an event, and that event is calling a method. And we know that a method is a verb. It's something that we can do. We also know that we can change the ID, the unique identifier of a button, by right-clicking and choosing Change ID. We know we can change the text by right-clicking and choosing Change the Text, and then it will put the text into a special file that can be used for internationalization. We know we can right-click on the button and choose On Click and give that On Click a name. That name will match to a method name. And as long as that method is public and void and has a parameter view v, open curly and close curly, that method will be called anytime we click that button. We know when we define a method, the method must live within the boundary of a class, but it cannot be nested within another method. So there's plenty of quiz question suggestions in this short 15 minute video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll get uh, much deeper in our next few videos. This is where we actually start to roll up our sleeves and look at programming. I hope you enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.